YouTube. Y'all know who it is, man. Y'all see what's up, man. I've been procrastinating all day, but I thank y'all, bro. We literally like, comment, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, man. Y'all just do me a favor, man. Bro, my birthday in September, bro. Let's hit 5K subs before September. Bro, that's all I want for my birthday, 5K subs. I ain't gonna lie. I would like to hit that before I turn 25, but hey, man, I ain't, I ain't gonna rush the process. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see the title of the video. I know y'all looking like, damn, play got a lot going on. You right, I do. But you know when it, you know what I'm saying? Pressure make diamonds, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. But I'm finna go ahead and tell y'all about this little situation that I got going on right now. Again, like I told y'all in the, um, my deepest confession, I don't need no sympathy, no nothing. It's just real talk. And I'm finna, I'm finna go crazy on my phone because I really do respectfully... My situation going on, and I just feel like my computer and me recording is going to be a problem since I'm off my phone. And like I said, y'all see the title of the video. <sighs> Don't want to be telling y'all this shit, but I'm going to tell y'all anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. And either way, I'm going to run up off my pain anyway. So make sure y'all watch these ads, man. Watch them ads, and we're going to go up regardless. But um, let me fix this. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, play, boy, play two underscores. I'm low-key tired of how a lot of y'all be like, bro, you, bro you, uh, I typed your Instagram, man. It didn't work. Listen to what I'm saying. Play, boy, play. Put it all together. Two underscores. It ain't no way you're not going to find me, y'all. I got to show y'all a picture. But, man, bunk all that. Y'all see the handle right there. So, more of the story, but I'm going to tell y'all how I met a friend off of the app called Tag, right? I met I met this friend last year when I was 23, you know what I'm saying? But it was one of those situations that's when we like just texting here and there. Before I went to um, California and Dallas, we was just like texting back and forth for the longest. But we didn't never meet up. Let me go ahead and move some of this shit, y'all. We didn't never meet up. <laughs> and it probably was a sign on why we don't need to meet up, but it probably was a sign, y'all. It probably it probably was a sign. Um, but yeah, y'all. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. I'm, I keep it a thousand. So this is a trans woman that I'm talking about. So I don't know. Maybe because I, I know what it is, bro. I'm gonna just be real, and that's why I'm gonna be telling y'all my videos same day, but just a different different video, bro. Stop giving out this raw, we stop giving out y'all raw eggplant, fellas, for real, for real. If you know damn well you don't see yourself with this woman, this shorty, this hoe, this slut, stop giving out raw, raw eggplant, real deal, because I wouldn't be in this situation that I'm in now if I haven't been dropping raw eggplant for, for months. And my friend been telling me that, but me being me, I honestly, I'm not going to say I wasn't listening, but... I'm the type of person I care about people a lot. And if we got a bond and we built a bond, it's not it's not it's not hard for I mean it's not easy for me to just let somebody go. So I'm not gonna lie to you. And plus I'm not sexually active as in having a whole lot of partners. So I only been sexually active with this particular individual. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. So it's been times I've been telling them like, cause I'm just not like I'm just not peaceful, y'all. Like I'm not I'm not getting the peace I deserve. I'm not my my respect. I'm not being respected as I should. You know what I'm saying? Like it's getting to the point now where it's like I want to hurt somebody. Like and we already done thump. We already done. We already done thump respectfully, and I ain't even trying to toot my own horn or whatever. I ain't even do nothing. You know, we had to go to the hospital and shit. That happened months ago. Now I'm to the point where it's just like I'm done, y'all. Like. Y'all know what's up with my situation, my living situation, but I got to be out of here in literally what? It's the 27th. I got to be out of here in four days, y'all. And it's just crazy how this same individual I've been telling them for maybe my last couple of days, y'all, my only wishes was leave me alone, y'all. Just leave me alone, y'all. I've, I've been telling them, just leave me alone. Like not even on no beef shit, no nothing, on some real shit because we were just kicking it the other day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm the kind of man that just seems like that. This is what I hate, y'all. I really do hate this, and I hate how women do this, trans women do this shit all the time, too. Don't stress me out after you get what you wanted. And I'm talking about eggplant. Like, a lot of these fellas, y'all know what I'm saying, too. Y'all y'all will be smashing a hoe, and then they all nice before you smash them or whatever. Or they might be nice after you smash them for a little bit. And then next thing you know, you're going right back to the toxic shit. I don't like that. And it's like, I've been going through this shit for damn near a year. 
Now to the point where I'm just done, right? I'm just done with the whole situation. Now it's just like, they'll be caught. Like like today, y'all, they've been calling me, texting me. Like, just a whole lot of crazy shit in my eyes. Hold up, y'all. My little brother um, pulling up. Got there. I'm about to smoke some weed with him. But I'm smoke some trees with him. I'm going to be right back, y'all. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. We'll be right back. Uh. I'm back, y'all. My brother, he said he's about 30 minutes away. So that's perfect time for me. So um, for us, y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, play by play, two underscore shots. So ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, real y'all, I appreciate y'all. And I'm not letting none of this sh break my character. I don't give a damn. Real deal. <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. You got to have a smile on your face going through the adversity, man, because this shit ain't doing nothing but building character. And I want you to look at me as a prime example. Somebody who's going through a whole lot, but not letting this shit break my spirits, no nothing. I'm not letting none of that negative energy around our aura. We going up, we gonna keep going up. But yeah, the other day, the other day we had um had intercourse, you know what I'm saying? I smashed or whatever. But it's like, I'm, I'm finding myself for these past couple months, it's like every time I smash, it's just like, I'm not satisfied. I'm, I'm just not satisfied. Like emotionally, I'm not satisfied. I done told y'all about my love story, about when I was, when I met that shorty in the seventh grade. Like, I'm just, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna say I'm thinking about how I'm smashing, but it's just like, I just be feeling like, bro, I, I want to smash somebody I really got some feelings for. Like, I don't have, I can't have feelings for somebody who's stressing me out, not really helping me mentally with peace and shit, right? And that's just where I'm at mentally. So, um, yesterday, was it yesterday? More of the story, bro. I've been told these folks a couple months ago, don't knock on my window. Because the last time they knocked on my window, like, just being on some crazy hoe shit. Y'all know how some of these bitches be, quote unquote, obsessed and all that. And respectfully, y'all, I don't, I don't play like that. I don't pop up at nobody's crib unattended, none of that. So it's, it's, it's taking, it's getting to the point where I'm feeling some kind of way, y'all. And I'm not, I don't play with weapons, no none of that. I don't, I'm not promoting no violence, no nothing. But it's making me feel like I'm starting to think like I don't want this shit to get. It already didn't went physical. It already got physical. And it's like, it's just bothering me and it's distracting me because because it's like, I'm on the first floor where I'm staying at, y'all. And yesterday I was asleep, man. They already, I, knew, they, I told them what, about a day ago, probably, it's still fresh. And I'm telling them I'm not fucking with them or whatever. But we done did this for months. I'm telling them I'm not fucking with them. Then the same night, I'm pretty sure they used to me saying I'm not fucking with them. Then I go over there and smash or whatever. It'd be like every three days, it'd be like two, three days good. Then it's back to hell. And it's like, it's like we moving like we in a relationship, y'all. But we not in no motherfucking relationship. And that's what's blowing me. Like, I'm for the streets. I'm for the streets. I ain't even, I'm for the streets. Not even saying it in that kind of way, but I'm for the streets. I'm, I'm on the market. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to run this shit up, bro. We got to run this, we got to run these views up. I'm trying to run these collabs up. I'm doing all that. I'm trying to get y'all this Playboy Play content. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. I don't need nobody hindering me from my success, y'all. Like, trying to hold me down just because you getting raw eggplant. Like, I get it. I get why somebody will act crazy when you... I get it. Because I I, I, I know what I'm doing. I know how to... I, I know what I'm doing, respectfully. But I mean, this is my thing. When I, when, I, when I do... When I respect your household and I'm not popping up at your crib... I'm not doing none of that crazy shit. Even though I know I'm missing some screws and I'm not playing with your your place of where you staying at, but you can't respect me as a man. As in, like I just told y'all yesterday, I was sleep like eight nine o'clock and eight nine o'clock at night, going to bed early, plan on waking up about three four a.m. so I can get on these videos for y'all. You know what I'm saying for us. They knock on my window again, and I just told y'all last time they knocked on my window where we literally thumped and we had to go to the hospital, bro. And I could have got locked up going to the hospital because the doctors and them. Kept motherfucking like trying to hint, hint that I was the the aggressor in this situation. So I was already in an awkward situation from that from the get go. And I'm in my head like I didn't know until after that. You know what I'm saying? All they had to do was look at my hands or anything, and they would have seen like he was the one who did it. Lock his ass up. You feel me? What's that mean? Lock his ass up. That literally could have happened, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. I'm bro. I can't make this shit up, bro. So now it's to the point. It's still fresh, bro. Probably going on like 36 hours, not even two days, bro. And it's like today, like now, now I'm on some shit. What, what do y'all think I should do, ladies and gentlemen? Just comment down below what should, what should I do? I'm ignoring the phone calls. I'm ignoring the texts. I'm not calling back. Usually I'll be calling and telling the motherfucker, hey, leave me alone. Stop talking to me. 
I even said some shit last night. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I said, I've been missing screws and shit. I'm a man of my words. So if I say I'm gonna do something and somebody keep bothering me, I'm the kind of ninja. When I say I'm gonna do something, like I said, I'm gonna do it. So if I say I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow you, blow something up, and you keep rocking with me, and that scale not, I'm not gonna, something gonna get blew up. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So. Y'all like, come subscribe, man. For real, I need y'all to comment down below. Let me know what y'all do. Keep doing what I'm doing. I'm not trying to bring the, the laws into the case because, like, I don't have time for that. The city I'm in right now, I don't want to be in this city respectfully. And I just feel like by me doing anything legal, taking this to le any legal action, it's just going to hinder me from getting up out of here. And I don't want none of that hindering me from getting up out of here respectfully. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all comment down below. Let me know what I should do. My mind is all over the place. I'm trying not to flash out. I'm trying not to crash out. I don't got nobody to talk to. The people I do be talking to, it seems like they hear me, but they not really hearing me. Like, like y'all, I'm big on, like, bro, I just told this motherfucker a couple months ago, don't knock on my window. Like, I'm already paranoid. Like, I told y'all, bro, respectfully, I told y'all this about a month ago or something. As soon as summer started, bro, a couple buildings down from my building, a couple people done got shot. Somebody died. I don't play nobody knocking on my window. I'm on the first floor. First thing I'm thinking in my head, go ahead and get the blowing through this window, respectfully, because I don't know what the fuck to expect. But they knocked on my window again yesterday. And it's like, they pulled up, and I did a whole lot of calling and shit, and I told them I, a whole lot that I was going to do when I seen them. They pulled up. I got See, this motherfucker calling me right now. This motherfucker literally calling me right now, y'all. This motherfucker literally calling me right now, bro. This shit is blowing me, and I already know when they get off work, bruh. They finna be on some BS, and they finna fuck around and pull up over here and knock on my window again, bruh. I, I, I can sense it, bruh. I can sense it, and I just know it, like, bruh. And I'm, I'm, I'm on some timing right now, like, I don't feel like I should have to run out of my household or be like, oh, let me go crash here for three, four days or whatever until they, this is my place. I pay rent for this shit. I gotta move out. Why the fuck do I gotta run? And I'm telling you, I don't want to deal with you. But it, it, then again, in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, the only reason why this motherfucker keep bothering me like that is because for months we've been arguing and we still end up having sex that same night. So I'm just like, let me cut that off. Let me cut communication off, all that. Like, oh, I can't make this shit up. The call was just coming. The call was just going, bruh. The call was just going. The call was just calling. And this shit is blowing me, y'all. I already know when they get off work, they're going to come over and try to play with me again, bruh. And it's like, it's like, and respectfully, I really do feel like they're trying to, like, throw me off. They're trying to get me to crash out. Like, it's a manipula It's a whole lot of manipulation going on because it's like, they know how far I'm willing to take it. But it seems like they trying to, it's like they trying to make it, make me take it there. Because it's like, bro, we going up, y'all. We literally going up. Views, everything that I'm doing right is going up, y'all. My physique is hitting. My mental clarity is getting there. The only dead weight I feel like I have on me is this mother that's, just not give me the peace I deserve. Comment down below what y'all think I should do, y'all. Follow me on Instagram, play or play two underscore. Like I told y'all, I'm not don't say nothing about no police, man, because I, I don't have time for that. The police, I don't I don't have time for that, y'all. I, I don't I don't have time for that, bro. I, I don't respectfully. I don't have time for that. But then again, I don't I don't know what to do, man. I really don't know what to do. I'm just letting y'all know what's going on. I can't even really do my reactions because I know I'm be doing my reaction videos, bruh. And they're going to be knocking on my window, bruh. And in fact, when I'm doing these reaction videos. When I get to doing these reaction videos, bruh, I'm going to have my ring light on. And where, where my window is, I just don't like the feeling that somebody can be watching me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I hated that feeling last night after they knocked on my window and I went back to sleep. I was literally looking at my window until I fell asleep, bro. Like, and I don't like that feeling, bro. And it's like, motherfuckers just taking it too far, bro. And it's just like, you doing all this over some eggplant. This eggplant don't belong to you. Like, I'm, I'm taking that off the table. So it's like, I'm taking SCX off the table. What the fuck do we have to talk about? Then, let me say this. This is the last thing, bro. And I'm gonna get up off of here, bro. Y'all just pray for me. Real talk, man. Y'all just pray for me, bro. I'm not gonna let it break me. Then what's blowing me is, y'all know with YouTube, when you get monetized, you get a verification code that they got to send to your house. They got to send it to an address that you can receive, and you got to type in a four or five-digit PIN code or whatever. Moral of the story, y'all, 
The first one I sent to, I sent it down the street. That was six weeks ago. It didn't make it there. I don't know why the fuck it didn't make it there, but I sent it down six weeks ago. That ain't work. So then I requested a new one. Guess where I requested that shit to go to? This same mother, the one that's quote unquote stalking me right now, real shit. Ain't no cap over here. I don't do none of that lying shit. I sent the verification code shit to their crib. I can't even request a new one, y'all, and until three weeks. I gotta wait three weeks to request a new one. And the funny shit about this shit is, I can request it in three weeks, but I gotta, in my head, I'm just hoping they can just give me my shit and just go about their business. But in my head, in the back of my head too, I'm also thinking, I might have just request a new one in three weeks, but this is where, this is where it get a little tricky. Y'all, I got until October 20, 22nd, 24th, something like that, or the channel ain't gonna be monetized no more. I just want to get this verification code and it just seems like now it's getting prolonged because I done sent this verification code to somebody address who I don't want to associate with no more. So it's just tricky, y'all. I'm not letting it beat me up, man. I'm just saying this shit is, there's too many loopholes with this shit, man. It's a whole lot of shit y'all don't see behind the camera, man. I ain't complaining about no nothing. I'm just being a real ninja. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all will be like, oh, he complained. Did it, did it. No, I'm just transparent. I don't give a fuck what you think, to be honest, honestly. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, y'all comment down below, real talk, what I should do. Um, watch the full video. Follow me on Instagram, play by play two underscores. Shout out to the ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, man. Um, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I'm going to keep smiling on, I'm going to keep posting. If I got to post on this phone until I leave, I will. If I got to go to, man, I, I don't even want to have to leave my crib. Because why the fuck do I have to leave? You shouldn't even be over here because I told you not to come over here. But a motherfucker isn't respecting me at all. At all. Isn't showing, come on. But this is the crazy part, y'all. They'll pull up over here at my shit. This is how I know they don't respect. They'll pull over here at my shit, right? But they know other places I be hanging out at, but they won't pull up over there unexpectedly. But you want to pull up on my shit unexpectedly. And you know, and you know what length I'm willing to take it to, but you want to keep pulling up at my shit. So you won't fuck with them, but you want to fuck with me. You you won't you won't fuck with them because you respect them, but since you've been dealing with me for the longest, you don't respect me. It's just actions are showing that a motherfucker don't respect me, and I I I can't do it. So it's just like it's just giving me more green flags to be like, man, cut that shit off. Keep your motherfucking eggplant in your motherfucking pants. And fellas, learn from your boy play, man. Some of these trans women be out here tripping. Some of these women out here be tripping too. Cis women out here be tripping too. Y'all know who you is. Y'all trans women be acting crazy too sometimes. Not all y'all, but come on. Fellas, keep your keep that raw ish in your pants, bro. Unless you know for a fact this is a bitch you really want to fuck with. Like, for real, bro. Like, let that shit be mutual. Real deal. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, please just comment down below what, what I should do, man. And um, follow me on Instagram, play by play, two underscores. Like I said, just pray for you, boy, and watch the full video, watch some ads, all that, and I appreciate that, man, and um, y'all gonna keep seeing me until it's time for me to slide, and I told y'all, y'all stay tuned for that mukbang, uh, the last day of me in here, and I'm gonna be talking y'all going down memory lane. Like, comment, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, plug or play, two underscores, pray for you, boy, see y'all in the next video. Uh.